How's life for you? It's good. Can't complain. What's your mindset going into this fight, sir? Uh, go out there, do my thing, win, and come home. That's simple. Yeah. It's funny because, you know, you had that belt that's to your right in my green room. And I said, you're going to bring that out. And you're like, yeah. Do you want to give the answer that you gave me? Do you remember? I said, I'll get another one on Saturday. That's what you said. Yeah, you'll get another one on Saturday. Mm -hmm. You don't think Cormier's got something to say about that? Oh, I'm saying he does. He's he's an amazing fighter. He's going to bring it. He does every time. But, uh, you know, it's not going to happen. I'm going to walk out the belt still wrapped on my waist. I say it all the time. How'd you get into this? Uh, I was actually helping a friend out. What do you just, mean? Just uh, so I was going to school for becoming a firefighter paramedic, mm-hmm. and the uh, this is in Ohio. Yeah, home back in Cleveland. Yeah, uh-huh. and uh, I was working at a gym, just making money, like you know, food, gas, money, while I was going to school. And I was training people at a gym, and the owner of the gym was friends with a guy named Dan the Bull Bobish. I said, "Hey, he needs help wrestling. Would you help him?" I said, "Yeah." So I just helped him out and never left the gym. So when did you realize you had a, a talent for this sort of thing, Stepe? Uh, about four or five months in, I was. Started training, and they're going to spar today. I told them, no, I don't have a mouth guard. They gave me someone else's mouth guard. I got hit. I'm like, you know, it ain't that bad. <laughs> and, then, and then and here we are. <laughs> it ain't that bad? Yeah, you know, I mean, it does, there's times it does hurt. But I was like, you know, I could, I could do this. And, you know, I was do the best that I can. And, and you, know, for, you know, I'm being I'm grateful and blessed that it's gone well. And, mm-hmm. you know, that's why I'm also I'm still a firefighter paramedic, though, because anything can happen. So well, how often do you... Do that firefighting. Oh, I, or... I work two, three times a week. Two, three times yeah, a week. Yeah, part time at two departments. So, where in, she, in... Uh, one's in Oakwood Village and uh, Valley View, and they're yeah, within... give, a, give a shout out. Who do yeah. you? Oakwood. Thanks, guys. Mm-hmm. Thanks for hiring me first, and Valley View. Thank you also. Right. <laughs> so, uh, hold on. So, so if if uh, somebody calls the fire department on a mm-hmm. Tuesday, say, yep. Steve Miocic might show up to help whatever yep. needs help with medic or uh, fire. Yep. Why do you do that? Uh, you know, I, I, my whole life I've been helped. And so it's my way of giving back, you know, and I just, I love helping people. If someone needs help, I'm, I know if it's three o'clock in the morning, cause they have a cough, it is what it is, but I'm there to help. And, you know, I, I, I work so hard to do it too. Also make my mom proud and show that our son was in a failure. You know, he did a lot with his life. Mm-hmm. Steve Miocic here in the Rich Eisen show. So what switch do you hit when you put on the, on the gloves and get into a, get in the octagon? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a switch of a, uh, uh, winning the fight. Can't leave now. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think of anything in particular to get yourself mm. fired up? Or no, I look at the competition. You know, uh, you mm-hmm. know, I, I look at it. There's a lot of reasons. Like people ask me, do you get nervous? Yeah, do you do get nervous? But I look at the end of the day. You know, I have my family, my friends. You know, my, my coaches. Like no matter what happens, they're going to be there. You know, like mm-hmm. it, it doesn't go my way. It doesn't go my way. But I'll be damned. I'm going to go out there and get all I got. And I, I love what I do. And you're going to be going against Daniel Cormier, UFC heavyweight title. I mean, he. He's at the end of his career, it seems. Still bringing it, though. I know he is, but do you feel that he's a little bit, perhaps more, there'll be more desperation on the line than you would normally take on somebody who's a younger man, knowing that he th- th- there aren't many more title fights maybe left in his... Well, I'm the younger man. I know that. Oh, it's... <laughs> what, but you taking on a younger man is what I'm saying. You're uh, taking on an older man. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's fought the best in the world. I mean, he's wrestled the best in the world. He's, you know, I'll go, uh, a medalist mm-hmm. in the Olympics and stuff like that, and... Mm-hmm. You know, he's fought the best in the world. He's beat the best in the world, and he's he's fought heavyweight also. And listen, you know, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna go out there and give mm-hmm. it all I got. You know, and I'm, I'm gonna walk out with my hand raised though. I mm-hmm. I I know that truly. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.